I'm sorry to your dad, I hope that he's not mad I like her, feel like she's 35 and we'll be alright Yeah, let's check oh, it out I do, for sure, yeah, yeah. We are on another special day here. I'm really excited. I know, Sam, you're just dying. You just can't wait. But we have Jared Reddick from Bowling for Soup joining us in a little bit. We are going full pop punk. Dragon Force versus <laughs> Bowling for Soup pop punk. How do you think that's going to end up, Sam? What do you reckon? Prediction. Well, I sincerely hope that he can sing better than I can or I'll be a bit broken hearted. <laughs> Bowling for Soup, you know, they're a really catchy band. If, if people don't know what they are, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, they are they are something, right? You like the band a lot, so you, can you tell the fans a little bit about Bowling for Soup, Sam? Yeah, no, they're, well, if you like pop punk, you like that probably, and if you don't like, you probably won't like that. But yeah, no, it's one of, the, they're definitely one of the, one of the good ones, for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got all the main ones, and, and they're definitely right up there with the best. So, yeah, I, I think they're really cool. I used to listen to them, I had like about three or four albums of them, I think. And they're really catchy, so right? Do cool. they even, I mean, every single song they write is basically sticks in your head. Is, is there anyone actually not familiar with Bowling for Soup in chat? You guys all familiar, right? We've done a, a special pop punk Dragon Force style, but since we believe Sam is a little bit shit and singing, we're going to ask someone, a real pro to do it, you right? <laughs> exactly. Real Except pro. Except can he compete with my auto tune? He, he was telling us, um, oh man, I, I don't like to use auto tune, but I tell you what, we'll see. <laughs> no one can compete with me with an auto tuner. <laughs> yeah, so he's got to go against Sam Totman and technology. Millions of years of evolution on this planet Earth to create this technology called auto tune. You used it, you sound acceptable. Now he's got to beat you with auto tune. That's tough. Yeah, it is pretty tough actually. Yeah. He also have a Twitch channel, so give that a follow too. And but you know. Fuck, he sold millions of albums, so he doesn't need shit from you guys. <laughs> Follow it. We're in the game of data. I got more subs than you. Oh, I got more follower than you on YouTube. I got this yeah. and that. Well, I got more oh, gold records shit. than you, so fuck oh, you. Shit. Oh, shit, he's here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's all right sometimes. Oh, we love oh, that guy. Uh, he's yeah. awesome. We never talk shit about him. <laughs> Is that my intro yeah. right there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a, a nice introduction in case we edit this for YouTube, you know, later on. So let me do like sure. an official. So sounds like we're nice guys, yeah? Hey, Jared, welcome. This is awesome. How are you doing, dude? Hey, dude, it's great. I'm doing great. How are you guys? Absolutely awesome. awesome. Everything's awesome. Because oh, I'm from LA, so everything's awesome. Everything's great. Sorry, just suddenly came, you are the voice of Chuck E. Cheese. Yes, I am. Yeah. Is that a Chuck E. <laughs> Cheese voice? Or what what's, What kind of voice did you the give Chuck me Chuck E. Cheese voice is like, uh, It'd be like, uh, hey, Herman, it's really cool to be here on your Zoom today. We're on the front page of Twitch, so they put us in the in there. Hopefully, you know, we're not going to destroy Twitch, but we might. You never know. This, there's some awesomeness going to come out of this. And thank you so much, Jared, for coming to hang here. You're going to show us how to do shit properly because we've done a pop punk song and you kind of thought it's like, uh, it's good, but... The singer is a bit shit, right? Are you gonna <laughs> Are you gonna be you going against Sam Totman? He's got auto tune on and you're gonna go up against man and machine. How is how are you gonna do it? Uh, I'm def I'm not gonna use auto tune. Um I think I'm just gonna use my uh my superb pop punk vocal stylings. Do I have a photo from that time? Was that Yeah, was that we found some photos from that night and they're quite interesting. I dug them out of my some long lost folder on my hard drive and you might remember this okay let's see there you go there we are oh look at those young handsome guys look at these so two guys like their whole life ahead of them <laughs> right so what year was that 2009 i reckon okay yeah i know we did 2007 but that seems too long ago actually it? no sorry yeah it was 2007 you're right yeah it was that is a pretty stereotypical photo bomb <laughs> for him that's uh, yeah. <laughs> that's right down the middle and then so how did the night progress after that oh okay we were jumping in the air as you do <laughs> actually i do vaguely remember that i was like because you know every, we never really met like any other bands except for metal bands so we were like yeah oh wow there's some pop punks next to us it's like do pop punky things and jump in the air and, like, yeah. <laughs> and i remember yeah. that was the idea what we were trying yeah. to do yeah so like, oh we pop punks would like to jump up and down so let's do that he can go pretty fucking crazy people getting drunk and usually you've got the young bands staying there right the old bands they right. just go to the hotel and they retire already early um and we got Sam, showing you a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. That's our guitar tech on the left, and then uh, with the toadies 
Hoodie, that's our sound guy, and his butt is very hairy. I'm surprised you can't see that it's darker there. And then that I, I saw the real one, and actually, to be honest, when I was blurring that out, I actually didn't couldn't look at it because it was so disgusting. Yeah, well, I'm sure there was some stuff going on in there, some dingleberries and stuff. Because yeah, he yeah, it was horrible. Air, he yeah. just got off an airplane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure it's not good down there. Oh, look at you, Sam. For no reason. You look younger then. <laughs> not much more. And you have a MySpace hat on. You see that? Oh, oh really? my God. That totally shows the, <laughs> shows oh, the that, year, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, sell of nice. the year. And that's you. Yeah, that's, and notice we're all still wearing chain wallets. So, uh, oh, yeah, a, yeah. Good old. That's exciting. Well, yeah. well there you go. your blurred ass. Yeah, me and Fred, our asses. <laughs> That just shows you the day before smartphones existed, that's what you did. Yeah. If that was now, everyone would be sitting on the bus on their phone, right? But no, we got drunk and showed each other's Showed each bottoms. other our asses. Like, I don't understand what we're doing here. Uh, what it seems like we're doing is trying to find the smoothest ass. The other two oh, yeah, were really hairy, and here, <laughs> these are all not hairy asses. So we must be trying to find the smoothest, which is why I'm in there, because I do have a very smooth baby's bottom. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe it was just because when you're drunk, getting your ass out is very highly amusing for some reason. Well, I'm just going with context clues here, Sam. I mean, I, that's, this yeah. is normal in the Bowling Pursuit camp. I do want to ask you this, and I, lo I ask people a lot that, um, is, you know, you've been doing this for a long time, right? The band's been around for a long time. Do you feel like it's always this kind of up and down for you? How has it been? I mean, the, the journey and all that. Um. Honestly, the first 15 years, you know, was a grind so that, I mean, this, you know, we still had to do other jobs and stuff. You didn't know that this is what you were going to do forever still. You just kind of kept thinking, okay, well, eventually this is going to end and I'm going to go get a job. And, you know, it's not like I'm going to be 48 years old and seeing about farts, you know, I mean, for a living. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> My main goal in life was to not work like a normal yeah. job and i've achieved that so i'm pretty happy <laughs> yeah totally just to be able to wake up and like walk in the studio and just go okay well you know i'm gonna create some shit today and i think people yeah. might like it and you know just yeah, exactly. being able to travel and hang out with dudes such as yourselves you know for i mean this is my job it's great yeah so we gotta create some shit that's one of the reasons we're here today right that's right. Well, we're going to win us a Grammy. Actually, that's <laughs> one thing we got in common. We both almost won a Grammy, I think. Is that correct? Or that's did you right. actually win yeah. one? <laughs> did you guys? No, no, no. We didn't win one. Did you guys almost win one too? Yeah, yeah we, also, we did almost win one. <laughs> yeah, Grammy losers. Here, here's the team. Yes, here. Yeah, Grammy losers. <laughs> when we were at the Grammys, we were sitting, Jimmy Fallon, he was sitting behind us. Our category was first and we lost. And then comedy yeah. <laughs> was like second and he lost. And then the <laughs> next category, the next court category, Bruce Springsteen lost. And he comes up and he puts his hand around me and one around Gary. And he goes, well, guys, at least we're in the same club as the boss. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, actually. And I was like, what a great way to look at that. Maybe this song we're going to create tonight will be our ticket to the Grammys. This could be it. Let's do a recap, <laughs> right? Let me play it to the people in chat. So what we come up with recap them on what we have created recently and so I, I haven't even listened to this so I need to have listened to it myself let's um let's have a listen I don't know what to do I don't wish for my shoes I love them all And I just want to vote your mom tonight I want to take you to the prom tonight I swear I will leave her I'll show her my wiener I'll show her the time of her life And I just want to vote your mom tonight I want to take you to the prom tonight I'm sorry to your dad I hope that he's not I'll make her feel like she's 35 And we'll be alright Well, so <laughs> That was our attempt at writing a pop punk song From a couple of ageing power metalers <laughs> Look, I'm not kidding about this I said to Sam, I said to everyone on Twitch We're going to submit One of these stupid songs That we've written here with the fans to the Grammys for the next years. 
So, you know, I'm a member. I can self-submit. Maybe if you put your magic in, we might be able to win a Grammy. You never know. Maybe. I can vote. I'm also a member. We're, uh, we're three former losers. <laughs> <laughs> we can all throw exactly. our vote and this will get three votes. If you can get through the first round, it will be, you know, it will be something. Sounds uh, good to me. Mm. Yeah, somebody in the chat said, with a song about fucking people's moms? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? Dude, we got we got nominated with Girl the Bad Guys Want. And, you know, that song's talking about creaming over tough guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what we would like you to do, please, is um, we need to write another verse and a pre-chorus, which is pretty straightforward. So what I'm thinking is we need to write some lyrics about some other pop punk cliches and, and then just fill it and then you can sing the same chorus as what I did and then sing away and, and off to the Grammys we go. I like it. <laughs> Random ideas. Skateboards, yep, good. Oh, Ooh, good one. Um, so oh, hi. Someone said hang out at the mall, sounds good, yep. That's good. Beers? Is, that, is beers too grown up? I mean, we are talking about humping somebody's mom. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll put beers down while Guy Fieri shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those flamey ones. <laughs> Angry Dads is so, a good one. Oh, no, but we yeah. already say, hope your dad's not mad, so we can't go Oh, there. okay, we've covered that, yeah. And we've got to have something about getting out of your shitty hometown, right? They oh, for about sure. That. Yeah, yeah. We can start <laughs> with that, actually, right? Like... I want to get out of here. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, that's probably the one of my favorite. I thought of like that chorus line in my head without any music. Oh, I want to burn your mom tonight. And so th that sounds like kind of what you you're doing as well. Yeah. Cheating ex-girlfriend or like that's a that's a good one. Write that down. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you could, sure. You know, you could go <laughs> you could be sad about that, too. You could go. You're just trying not to be sad about your cheating ex-girlfriend yeah. while boning your friend's mom. <laughs> and Jared, by the way, Sam actually boned his friend's mom. I think it's time for you to reveal, Sam. It is quite funny. I'm not quite drunk enough, but yes, I did actually bone my friend's mom when I was, well, I was just sitting on the couch. And then next thing you know, she comes over and goes, all right, well, what do you think about this idea? And I was, the only thing I've got image in my head of what well, I can remember, because I was really, really drunk and it was like 25 years ago. I just remember there was a photo of my friend on her bedroom wall in a school uniform when we were about <laughs> <laughs> and i had the exact same one because i was at the same school we were about when we were about 13 or something <laughs> that is so good one time on tour i was uh i was with a a young lady and uh, there was a picture of her boyfriend on the nightstand and uh oh nice yeah it's always a good one he was just he was just looking at me you know like, <laughs> Did he have a bowling for soup t-shirt on? That's that's the question. <laughs> he might have. I yeah, think. that would have been even more heartbreaking. He did, he did <laughs> after that. I left him some stuff, you know, because I'm not an asshole. <laughs> okay, so what do we... Someone said on the stream last couple of weeks ago, we need, like, offspring going, whoa, whoa. We haven't got any of that yet. I don't know how we would put them in. Like, would we just sing some whoa? Yeah, or you could just say something about how, like, but one thing missing is some woes in the song or something like that, you know, like. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. We need some woes and then and then say, whoa, 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 kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should I, you should I throw did... that in, Sam. Throw that in. Go on. It's OK, Sam. OK, so this is I'm going to come clean here and be, be very honest. Every time I see Jared, he said when we were drunk in 2007, I was like, man, I nicked a song from you guys. Yeah. And like. Every time I talk to you, he's like, "Oh, I'd Sam nicks all my songs," and he and and so I'm here to, I'm here to show you exactly what I stole. Oh, and okay. And, and and chat can decide if I should send him a huge royalty check or if I should just like if I owe him a beer or something. No, I am. <laughs> we'll see what it's worth. I am flattered beyond belief. Uh, and, right. and when I say that you stole all of my songs, you know that I'm saying that in jest. I don't I know. I know. In no way do I, I feel know. like you're turning Smoothie King into a song about dragons. <laughs> Let's present the evidence, Sam. So it's only one line, so you've got to get straight in and hear it right away. Mm -hmm. Here we go. That's it. And here's our one. It's so cool! 
<laughs> that That's is it. so <laughs> rad. And I love it. You go, me. Yeah, and I went down instead of up. <laughs> so what do you think it's worth? A pint, a half a pint, or a whole <laughs> a think, night on the booth. I think next time, next time we see each other, yeah, you you buy me a beer and we'll uh, we'll call we'll it call it quits. Yeah. All right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't want to yell this town. This town just makes me frown. My friends just bring me down. But the pizza is fine. And then we're saying something. We need some woes. Yeah, we need some woes right here. Um, we, yeah, we need some. We need some woes and then do some woes. Oh, and then do some woes, right. Like, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and it's funny because we're going against so many rules. Like, we said town twice already. Yeah. <laughs> and then we go, we need some woes. And then we go, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so we're going to rhyme woe with woe. Write that down. All we need now is some woes. And then whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. What else do we... What can... Uh, you got woes, you got hey, 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 or something like that. Any more? Oh, in the pre chorus? Yeah. I'm just wondering if we can, like. Da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na, na 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 Yeah, let's go na na na. Na na na. Na na na. Yeah, actually, because that's kind of a, like, we'll bring one of these too. Na 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 na. Wait, we could have na na na. Yeah, Bully for Soup does that shit all the time. Um, all right, so I'll sing through this with the music. You guys won't hear the music, but you'll hear me. Uh, babbling through it. We can stop and start, you know, I mean, like, maybe just do it. Let's get, get it right. this verse, right? Yeah. Yeah. And after okay, you've done so the recording, if you send me the file, we'll put it with the music so everyone can see the glorious creation that we have unleashed onto this world. I want to get out of this town. This town just makes me frown. My friends are living down, but the pizza is fine. That was cool, though. No, I like, I like the tone and everything. That's cool. Definitely. I like okay, it. Cool. The voice of good. Chuck okay. E. Cheese singing about bonging your mom. Are you sure gonna be this, this is gonna be okay? You're not gonna lose your job doing the Chuck E. Cheese stuff? I'll be I'll be okay. I'll be alright. Wait, let me turn that up. Hold on, I'm about to double my vocal. Herman, do you wanna explain? Oh good to technique. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, you wanna good... explain to everybody what that means? Yes. To make him sound even bigger than he is, no pun intended. Hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> Fat joke from the Asian. <laughs> yeah, bang! <laughs> As you can hear, everybody, no auto tune required from a professional. Nope. Here. Yeah, he's up against he's up against me with auto tune. Now with some woes, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, sing me the last line one more time. Whoa! Oh, whoa, oh, oh, okay. I'm you're. I'm. I'm not jumping it. I'm going. Whoa! It goes. Whoa! Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it. How about some na na na's? Okay, I got it. How about some na na na's? Na 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 na. Wait, give me the na 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 part. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. So harmonize on the na na's, right? Yeah, it's like a, a, a third above it. Na 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 na. Yeah, I got it. And I just want to go on your mom tonight. I want to take her to the prom tonight. I swear I won't leave her. I'll show her my wiener. Sounding great. <laughs> I hope your kids are enjoying it next door. <laughs> oh, they're fine. They're used to this. All right, this is for real. And I just want to bone your mom tonight. I'm sorry to your dad. I hope that he's not mad. I'll make her feel... I make her feel like the old make is really quick. It's like I make, make her, her feel oh, like she's. Okay. I hope that he's not mad. I make her feel like she's thirty-five and we'll be all right. Yeah, let's check. Oh, it I out. do for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna play the whole song. Hey, chat, we're gonna hear the whole song. We're gonna hear this masterpiece. This could be the future Grammy-winning song from the Grammy losers here. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to the final, but then uh -uh. <laughs> well, we're gonna win the Grammy with this. We're gonna sure. win this. Oh my god. 
Now let's hear the pro do it. Sam, you ready for the pro? So the last chorus, you guys are singing together again. Oh man! Oh, that was kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I think we're onto something. Well, I think if there's an American Pie reunion, we could be <laughs> possibly yeah. on that. The Dad Rock Two is that what you said <laughs> earlier? Oh yeah, yeah, Dad Rock Two. Yeah, we'll be on that for sure. <laughs> we'll be on that. <laughs> I'm a bit Super drunk now. Fun. I'll probably go and listen to it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, you got it. When, well, when it's when it's when you guys uh, actually mix it down and bounce it, you have to send it to me, please. Yeah, yeah, no, I will for sure. Dude, thank you so much. It was so much fun and everyone had such a blast. Can't wait to do more fun stuff with you, man. And this is just the start. We'll yeah. talk to you guys later. <laughs> See you later, dude. Awesome, man. Cheers, dude. Thank you. I do really find that song extremely catchy and probably kind of like not in an annoying catchy way. You know, some songs just get stuck in your head and you really wish it's yeah, gone. Yeah, because it's like it's still kind of got like a nice sad feel to it, I think. We'll be putting these songs into a special album for release later this year. And we're going to get a bunch of special guests on it. So hopefully you guys can enjoy this. We're going to re-record it professionally instead of Sam being drunk doing it on live stream. And then we'll, we can go back to be crazy perfectionists when we make that Dragon Force album after this one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But thank you so much for coming to hang out with us. And of course, I'm here Monday to Friday. Sam is pretty much almost here every week i'm here when you need me man <laughs> yeah this is sam topman and me herman lee from dragon force we'll see you next week all right <laughs> bye sam do the qu queen wave ah. goodbye <laughs>